Have you ever wondered how our food gets to the store without getting spoiled? Did you ever consider a life where you couldn't eat food off the shelf without eating it immediately? Now, I want you to imagine this. Imagine a world where the only food available was food that was grown locally. A world where getting food transported to you was a big deal, but where the chance that it was edible would be a whole other matter. Thankfully, that isn't the situation today, and the man we have to thank for that is Frederick McKinley Jones, the King of Cool. Born on May 17, 1893, Jones suffered a tragic childhood where his mom passed away and his dad couldn't make ends meet and left him in the care of a priest in Kentucky. Even as a child, living in a state like Kentucky, especially where the Civil War was still fresh in everyone's minds, proved to be hard for him as racism was a big problem. As he grew older, Jones developed a skill in mechanics and began to love tinkering. He was a sergeant in World War I and was also in charge of communication systems like the telephone and telegraph. Soon, Jones's time to shine was at sight. In the year 1919, Jones made one of his first breakthroughs in the portable x-ray machine. Though he forgot to apply for a patent, his machine allowed patients to take an x-ray scan on their own time and send it to the doctor when ready. Later, he went on to revolutionize the movie industries under the wing of Joseph A. Numero, the head of Ultraphone Sound System, and made modifications to the movie projector to incorporate sound and enhance effect. Finally, after years of obscurity, Jones, along with Numero, finally made his mark on the world as they both founded Thermoking. Thermoking was founded during World War II, where at first the main problem was to figure out a method to preserve food for long distance travel. To solve this problem, Numero assigned Jones to develop an auto refrigeration system for different vehicles like trains, planes, trucks, and ships to prevent food from spoiling over long distances. As a result, grocery food chains were not restricted to only being able to import and export canned goods, but were also able to buy and sell normal groceries. 1938. When his boss asked him to figure out a way to keep food from spoiling during overland transportation, Fred Jones went to work. What he came up with was the world's first system for refrigerated transportation. The technology was applied to trucks and trains, and the company Jones and Numero would call Thermo King. Fred Jones made it possible to ship and receive perishables year-round. The supermarket was born. As time passed, the need for blood preservation was also necessary, especially during the war. During World War II, Fred adapted the technology for the Army to help bring blood plasma and food to soldiers in the field. His technology that, that started off as a simple thing here in Minnesota ended up saving lives. And while there have always been black scientists and black engineers, their stories have not been in the, in the forefront. And, and so having a, a Fred Jones, knowing his story, I think that's incredibly inspiring. By doing so, Jones saved millions of lives and prevented millions of casualties, especially for warlike situations. Jones's achievements at Thermo King were dwarfed by his lifelong thirst for learning self-confidence, integrity, and determination in the face of, of adversity, especially when a black man living in a racist America becomes the first African-American inventor to win the National Medal of Technology and Innovation. Jones always said, I have an idea.